Hey everyone, Joe here. Just wanted to do a video for Brian over at Got Fuels Model Car, car Garage, uh, his challenge, his workbench challenge essentially. So I figured I'd throw one together because uh, these have gone around in the past. Uh, it's nothing new, but I never participated in one. And due to my massive OCD, I just got done reorganizing the bench for like the 80 billionth time. And I figured now would be a great time to do it. Uh, I was contemplating on doing it anyways, and then Brian's video went up, so I figured it must be a sign. So I'm very, very fortunate in that I have a space out in the garage. We have a two-car garage. I gave up my side of the garage in order to have this hobby space, and the wife gets that, park her car in the other side. So I have a, I had the ability to have a, a decent amount of room to do things in. Now I've custom built my own bench everything you've seen is custom built I custom built my own air booth and so uh, you know I didn't I didn't order anything for those but uh, but yeah uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there that have smaller spaces that do much much better work than me um, so I, they turn out a better product but it's all about having fun and just remember it's not the size it's how you use it, so I've been told. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, let's get into the tour. And if you all have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll make that comment at the end as well, but happy to answer anything. I'm not the best tour guide in the world. Uh, so we'll do our very best. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started. So here's our overall bench. It's uh, two feet by 60 inches um, so I'm very very fortunate to have this space uh, we've got our TV just kind of an overall general view we'll we'll get in here more um, but first we start with uh, down here in these storage containers we've got two of these little things and they basically are gonna hold all my extra stuff that I have plus a few other items so in this first drawer here we just have like extra thinners, extra, you know, glues and, uh, you know, the foam for my wet palette and we have cardboard pieces. Here's some Mr. Leveling Thinner. There was a big run on that, so I got a couple of bottles. You'll find out that I'm a big believer in uh, having extras around. So in here we have a lot of our flocking powders and flocking material that we got off eBay, all a bunch of different colors, our little tea thing there and uh, we uh, have all sorts of different colors uh, I think Warbirds or, or something like that on eBay has a great selection very very cheap so got all those stocked up in here just more extras of stuff so uh, some when I buy in bulk if I have extras I, I stock it down here uh, it's a sponge for chipping and it's not a very good sponge by the way some sharpies some extra paint brushes uh, and again, like I said, when I buy in bulk, I, uh, I tend to put everything down here. So in here we have just light bulbs and extra doodads for the computer for videos. In here we have some glass containers. They contain like grout or for cleaning the airbrush, they'll have liquids in them. So down in this drawer, we have all sorts of extra material. These are tattoo ink cups that I use for paint and putting paint in and mixing paint sometimes. And here we have these little, uh, same things, but they're in these little uh, things. I saw Brett G had them, and I had to try them out. Uh, and then we have our pipettes, again, buy in bulk, so that I go through a lot of pipettes because I don't like to cross-contaminate. <clears throat> uh, here we have kind of on one of these little storage things. We have some frisket film on the side for doing some decal masking. Over here we have some acetone. And then we also have the uh, odorless spirit or paint thinners. That's for oil work. I don't want to use oils. And in this uh, little container, we have like tools, extra blades, and and uh, extra, extra blades, essentially all different kinds. And these are a little cool. These are dental tools. 
that you use for your teeth, but they're great for cleaning the airbrush um, out of the nozzles and things like that. They got this little, uh, uh, essentially a wire cleaner. It's great. Um, again, here's our little tattooing cups, the small size, and then you'll see we have the large size. It's great for putting paint in, um, even just brush paint, just to brush out of. Here are these little mixing containers that I saw at Brett G and you know they've got measuring lines on them so now I can mix paint and then put a little lid on snap it tight and keep it for a little longer all sorts of different uh, cotton buds the Tamiya ones the cheapo ones different sizes different points uh, and I use every single one of them all the time believe it or not it's probably one of my biggest used tools here's all of our different sanding paper uh, all sorts of different grits most of these are sponge ones um, and then we have another container up here on our pegboard and in here we just have a few things some saw blades some watch parts clip holders sanding needles um, the applicators pins and we'll kind of go through them and take a look what we got but uh, these are just makeup applicators and springs from pens and then we have just one sort of push pens for hanging stuff up and then these are those other pens that we use for different applications um, watch parts very important for aircraft building for me uh, and then moving on up here we have the AK wet palette which I don't really care for I, I rarely use it anymore um, we have some tin foil behind there and then these little containers that I use all the time to put bar parts in as I'm building along so one might contain the engine part one might contain the you know cockpit parts whatever it might be we got candles for stretching sprue. We've got these. Um, these are I just got these not too long ago to put the figures because I like painting figures now with my like tank builds and everything. So you know, drill a hole in the bottom of them, put in a copper wire, put the copper wire in here, and it holds it for you. It's great. Got those on Amazon, of course, along with like half of this stuff. Uh, all this is just little doodads from sprues once the builds are over. Uh, I save some, I don't save everything. Uh, you can get sandwich bags and more cotton buds and toilet paper for putting in the cockpit. Um, over here, of course, our essential coffee pot and a heater and a fan and a light and a tripod and a very large ass ladder. And then we have, uh, you know, first side of our desk here, if we go up top, You'll see we have our TV, it's connected to our computer. We have some reference material up right now. And some clips along the top. Here's all of our Vallejo paints, our army painters, our washes. Um, I'm a paint junkie, you're gonna see that. Um, and uh, other some epoxies, all of our Tamiya airbrush cleaner, thinners, both enamel and 20A, which I rarely use. Uh, we do have our nail lacquer shaker, which you probably may have seen in other videos and uh, great for shaking paint very cheap off amazon a little tub of purple power to to do the chrome we can move this light up and down out of the way we've got our uh, our glasses there that we wear constantly for the for the magnifiers um and then so that's the one side we can move our light down we can move our light up it's kind of cool i just got this light mm, a few months ago really <clears throat> and then Starting here, we'll just kind of work our way up to the top. We have, these are rarely used tools up here, um, but uh, so they are in use sometimes. So a little drill, a little battery power drills, more clips than in reach. Uh, some uh, files, metal files that we use a lot, our scalp, scalpel, pencil, mechanical pencil, all of our tweezers, our scissors, and our nippers down there at the bottom. We got all of our uh, tapes here multiple different kinds of tapes and then glues and decal softener and mask and in here is our weathering station and what we have are just tons of different weathering brushes that we like to use and another little weathering station with some powder uh, nothing in this last drawer so haha looks like we got room to grow and uh, then over here we have all of our Tamiya tapes and some other things we have our easy line all within reach of from the bench uh, some tools our god hand tool which is fantastic 
We have, these are for decals only, so it's like a decal drawer. Um, and here's some stowage for tanks that we like to use. And empty drawer and black Q-tips. If, if they make a product in black, I'm probably gonna get one at some point. Um, then we have some stencils for 135th scale for tanks. Those are pretty cool, I wanna try those out. I ordered those not too long ago. And this is the two part Tamiya epoxy. So we've got that at arm's length. This is where I clean brush cleaning stuff. So like this magic brush cleaning, we got water in these two little Mr. Surfacer jars now that we rinse our brushes out with, and that's brush soap in the back. Um, and then we pan out here, we go down a little bit. This is our drawer we have, we put in. Now we built this entire desk, by the way. So I, this is all custom made. Um, this is uh, some more clips and dehydrator. And I love the dehydrator. I used to use it all the time when I was using enamels. Here's a toolbox filled with styrene for when I want to scratch build, which I never ever rarely do. So, and these are all just containers of wires. Some are wires, some are aftermarket parts for cars, some are aftermarket parts for aircraft, um, extra doodads, you know, so stuff that I rarely get into. But again, here's our, this is a Hawker Hurricane I am building. I know there's no videos on it. I'm just kind of building it off on the side, practicing my jet skills. This thing I use for holding sprue, as you can see, comes in extremely handy for when you're working on a tank or aircraft with tons of sprues. Uh, these little cat scratch pads, fantastic idea I learned from another YouTuber. Uh, I got to get away from having to use those stupid uh, uh, foam blocks. Here you see I, my little part spins that I like to do. But yeah, the cat scratch pads are amazing. Uh, here's all of our sanding, some pens. Uh, those are the infinity sponges. These are the uh, ultimate sanding sticks and a bunch of other little tiny sanding sticks below those that we use on a constant basis. Along with popsicle sticks for taping parts for painting alligator clips here, larger popsicle sticks, chopsticks, pipettes for mixing, um, and a few other things over here. I can show you, move this out of the way. We have um, the um, sculpting tools. I use this for putting putty in all the time. They're fantastic. Um, then we have these little makeup brushes are great for wiping off your, your parts before you paint so you get dust off of them. As you go along, so you can see, this is an anti-static brush for the same reason. Um, also a great thing to have. Our AK, our AK Mask and Putty, Mr. Surfacer 500, and then 1000 for filling in extra things when we need to. Mr. Dissolve Putty, which is amazing. It's like sprue glue, but better. Fantastic product. Here is our uh, all of our brushes and some more brushes over here. Those AK pencils that I'll never ever use or touch. Uh, these are all uh, aircraft stuff that I just put up here after marker parts so I can get to quickly seatbelt decals things like that here's the One side of the paint now up here in the top. I put builds that I'm expecting to build um, To get them all queued up. You can see all of our paint here as well uh, our Oshi powder bunch of different just different stuff again paint junkie and I love trying out new products Here's a little side roller thing that I picked up at a garage sale one time and it was just came turned out fantastic because I can use it for like this. One, I put my boxes on and two, here's all my oils and stuff like that. But I can put the boxes on this lunch tray and put it there and move, move it out of the way. Here's our AK cutting pads, a lifesaver, especially for masking canopies or anything else. You got a custom mask. You got two different kinds. You got the straight line ones, and then this one has a circle on it, which is great. Um, and then you have like packing material and put in the canopies or uh, cockpit area so that you can paint, things like that. Circle cutters. Um, here's some compounds and rubbing polishes and, and things mostly for the cars on this one here, you know, to get those shiny paint jobs and, and everything like that. We have our photo etch tools in the back, our benders, our round bender, etc., etc. Um, and then in this last drawer, we just have a big box of gigantic rubber bands for holding things like the fuselages together. We have our Dremel tools. One is the battery powered one uh, that a few people have now. 
I think uh, Doug was the first one to show it, and BG has one. The, the battery-powered ones are fantastic, low RPMs. And then if we go off to the side of the bench, we see uh, a couple of these paint racks that I got off Amazon. They're for nail polish. Cheap, easy. I highly recommend it. Um, got rid of all of our Vallejo Air to Brett G, and now we're using AK Real Colors. So that whole thing was filled completely with Vallejo Air, and now Brett G is the happy owner of those. Um, we have our paint booth, which we also built for ourselves. So this is a uh, all built by me paint booth, and, uh, and the fan on it is gigantic. By the way, it's for it's for greenhouses. Um, here's some more paint once again. Like I said, uh, you know, paint junkie. So you can see all the sorts of different paints we're using here. Some get used a lot. Some rarely get used. Uh, the big giant spray spray cans rarely get used. Uh, we've got our airbrushes here and our compressor. And up top we have a couple more airbrushes, more paint, which is all of our all clads and some spaz deck stuff. Um, and then under here, more airbrushes and more paint. And uh, just little doodads. Well, well, more paint. That's right. We have more paint, more Tamiya clears, other clears, other clears. <laughs> like I said, I, I'm a big believer in stocking up when I can. Um, and it turned out that came in very, very handy during the beginning of this whole pandemic issue. And even right now with supply chains the way they are. We got our black gloves, of course. And then over here, we're just cleaning materials for my airbrush. I like to use those armor hole things, let them dry out. We've got uh, brake fluid and purple pond for whatever kind of material I'm using or may need. And uh, then over here, we have some, some of our stash that we're starting to get into. We have jets. These are all mostly cold wards. And then we have more jets over here and uh, more jets. So these are all those ones I was talking about, but i never showed. Then if we go across the garage, we have uh, more cars, more kits, more airplanes. These are our airplane kits. Um, tons of different different kits that we are prepped and ready to build and, and uh, that we should not be buying anymore, but we keep doing it for some reason. And I think we all know the reason, but we have more aircraft over here, more tanks over here. And uh, down here at the bottom, we have more cars. So we still have a lot, a lot of car kits left, everyone. And uh, got some car kits down here. Definitely got the 29 and the 32. And we've got our big ass sub over here from from Big Eddie. It was a great, great gift from him. Some more cars. And uh, as we start coming up top, we're gonna have some more tanks. Russians, Americans, they're all sorted out in, in their, by their country for the most part. Somehow a car kit got thrown in here. I don't even know where that one came from, but we'll have to resort that because my OCD is not going to let it get away. Um, we've got more jets, more tanks, um, some ships. There's a ship. You all saw it. There's a ship. So. All right, so here we're going to do kind of my camera and lighting equipment set up. I forgot to kind of get into this during the video, but here we have just a cheap um, 4K uh, webcam that's hooked up to the computer. Uh, and that's for all of our top-down views, and it's got this little, uh, got our little uh, clip there that it, I just bought a long time ago. It's adjustable and all that great stuff. So, uh, and then we have this little, this little loop light uh, for some extra lighting, which isn't on right now. Let's see if I can't turn that on. Yeah. And so we got that, and then we've got this big long light over here that kind of hooks into the to the table you all can see here I just got this not too long ago and you can turn that on that's also USB and there's that so 
uh, that works out well for the top down. Um, and then we have a very large, uh, one of those shadow box lamps over there. That's what that big light bulb in the cap in the drawer was for. Uh, so <laughs> you would think with all this lighting options that my videos would be much better lit than what they are, <laughs> BG, but they're not. <laughs> And uh, it's because, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but what we're going to go with is obviously the theme of my channel is more movie stuff, right? It's a, and uh, it's a production. And, uh, you know, we're going to say that we kind of are model noir, and I've mentioned that before, so more of a dark model, right? We're dark modeling here, and uh, that's why our lighting is so bad because we go with a noir theme. That's what I'm sticking with at least. But uh, yeah, that's what we use now. When we wanna do shots where we're recording like this, you know, we have an, a tripod and another webcam that we hook up because we run everything through the OBS, which is software. Um, and that's how we kind of record all of our videos and, and do them that way. I don't do too many voiceovers, but I do some voiceovers. But that yeah that's what we've got i hope you all enjoyed this tour um and again i am very very lucky to have what i have very appreciative of it always always in awe of uh everyone out there that has you know not much space and and what they can turn out uh from that space it, it amazes me so um you don't need a big workspace you don't need all this junk uh all you need is, you know, your imagination and some couple tools and some glue and have at it and have some fun, right? That's the main thing you need to do is have fun. But that's what we got. If anyone has any questions on anything you've seen here, you want me to get into something more, let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to do that. Uh, I know I haven't been putting out many videos lately, uh, so if you all need me to do that, uh, I would be happy to and I'll answer anything I can answer. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe. And until next time, take care. <laughs>